Today we're talking about machine gunners and it's a lot, so pay attention. If you're in the Marine Corps, it's known as an 0331. And the Army doesn't have a special code for machine gunner, it's just an 11 Bravo infantryman that got voluntold to carry the big gun. Now the role of the machine gunner is rapidly changing with the Marine Corps transitioning to the M27 assault rifle, which is a fully automatic 30 round rifle, with the idea of being lighter and faster in mind. The Army, on the other hand, is considering doubling down on the traditional 249 by adding a literal backpack of bullets that feeds directly into the side of the gun, and it is apparently held together with duct tape. But today we're just talking about the traditional M249 saw gunner. If you don't know, saw stands for squad automatic firing weapon. It has a cyclic firing rate of 850 rounds per minute. It is belt fed with 200 round belts that are held in this little canvas baggie off the bottom, affectionately known as the nutsack. And it is the highest casualty producing gun in the United States military. Which is partially due to the fact that it's a machine gun, but more so to do with the man behind it. You have to understand, nobody actually wants this job. While it might sound cool and romantic to be the machine gunner, and machine guns are fun to shoot, it is not fun to have to carry a machine gun up a fucking mountain. You have to realize the machine gun alone is almost 20 pounds. Then you have to carry a combat loadout of at least another 600 rounds of ammunition, adding another 20 pounds. We're talking 40 pounds of cordless hole punching technology alone, not including any food and water he has to carry on top of that. So put yourself in his shoes. You've been walking around carrying this heavy-ass gun for what seems like forever, and somebody finally picks a fight with you. Not only are you going to try to justify the fact that you've been carrying this enormous gun, you also have the underlying motivation of knowing that every single round you throw towards the enemy is one less round that you have to carry on your back back to camp. I'm trying to tell you this guy's motivated to hold that trigger down a little bit longer than he's supposed to. And when this guy gets called for holding, you are not getting five yards and a first down. You're probably going to get put in the ground. And that's on a good day. If you want to see a bad day, try firing at Doc. You see, Doc and the machine gunner have a special relationship because the machine gunner knows that if there's an ambush and somebody's going to get shot first, they're probably going to be aiming at him. Because, well, if you were a bad guy and you were going to ambush a bunch of grunts, wouldn't you want to take out the one with the big gun first? Makes sense, right? Which sucks for Doc because if the machine gunner's down, that means there's no suppressing fire on the enemy. Which is going to increase Doc's odds of getting shot when he goes to rescue the machine gunner. And Doc is willing to take that risk without question, which is why the machine gunner is extra, 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 extra protective of Doc. If you shoot at Doc in front of the machine gunner, you are going to have the longest, shortest day of your life. Because that machine gunner is going to ordain you. I'm trying to tell you he's going to make you holy. You are going to die from rapid onset lead poisoning almost immediately. Even on the off chance that you're smart enough to take cover, but somehow dumb enough to shoot at Doc, you're still going to die. It's called the saw, remember? He's going to try to cut through whatever you're hiding behind with bullets. And even if he can't, you're going to get flanked. So in conclusion, do not take out the officer, don't even look at Doc funny, and never give a machine gunner an excuse to do his job. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can buy me a beverage or buy yourself a shirt or some stickers at thefatelectrician.com. Quack bang out.